All right, what's up guys? So we're here with uh, Callie. We're here vacation at the beach. As you can see, a little Outer Banks vibes out here. Um, but um, I'm just gonna talk about what it's like to have a, a more calm personality dog. Uh, I get people asking me, oh my gosh, how do you get that dog so calm? She's only seven months old. Um, but really, it it's how you treat them and how you train them. So as you can see, I don't really use a leash with her much at all. And what, that, what that's doing is it's giving her, she doesn't feel like it's such a big thing for her to be off of a leash. It's not like, oh my gosh, I've never done this before. It's just kind of natural. So biggest thing is what I say is when you get a puppy, try to take them out of the field or if you have a big yard, take them out in the yard and don't put a leash on them and work with them when they want to follow you around and when they're not that fast to run away or anything like that and work with them and really um, make it not so much of a deal and then they understand what you're saying to them and communicating um, and then it really helps them a lot but also taking them on walks and getting their energy out so that then they don't have feel like they're restricted or constrained in a house um, when you keep them in the house all the time then they're just bored and they go outside and they go absolutely crazy so definitely you want to make sure you're taking these dogs on walks golden doodles are a very energetic breed um, and they want to play and stuff like that. So half the reason why she's so just chill when you see her is because she's able to go outside and just run around and play all the time. So she, it doesn't feel like that big of a deal to be off leash. All right, so as you can see, I'm kind of staying on her here. Um, when she's with me and we're walking around off leash, I actually, she doesn't even know how, she doesn't even know the um, e-collar, but uh, I haven't trained her yet with that, but I like to get them used to walking off leash even without an e-collar. But she knows when she's walking with me, she needs to be staying next to me and close to me. I don't let them just run off and go off into a field and just run around. I let them stay close to me because then they'll learn, okay, when I'm with you and we're on a road here, um, you need to stay with me at all times. So that's a big part when it comes to walking with your dog off leash. So come on, Callie, let's go. Come on. So this part, there's a bunch of birds in the ground, so we're gonna pick her up and carry her to the beach, and then we're gonna run around on the beach with her. So the best thing about a uh, medium golden doodle is they're super light, so you can carry them around. Standards are great, but they're kind of hard to move move around, so. So another tip, great way to hold your golden doodle, just throw them over the top. And you can walk to the beach like this, super easy. Doesn't hurt them at all. <laughs> Callie's like, what in the world are you doing? She looks comfortable, I don't see a problem with it. So what you can see from here is she's finding her entertainment in me. She's focused on me. Um, <laughs> as you can see, she loves <laughs> when I kick up the sand and play with her. As you can see though, she's not running off to go look for entertainment for herself and something else. Um, she's looking at me with what do I want to do, where are we going? That's another thing is a lot of people will just let their dog find um, outlets of, they can just kind of do whatever by going off and doing it through other dogs or other people. When I am walking my dog on a trail or I'm at the beach, even if there's another dog, I like to keep their attention on me because I don't want them playing with every dog that they see. And a lot of people do that, but that causes problems when you've got a dog off leash and then they see a dog down the beach and they just take off towards it. You don't want that. You want your dog to have to be focused on you and you alone. So when she's walking with around and stuff like that, she's looking at me, looking at where I'm going. You wanna always keep your dog's attention on yourself. Whenever you see those guys with those um, shepherds or they're doing some kind of work, their dog's always right beside them and they're looking at them. And that's because you want them with their attention and their eyes on you. Um, so always when you're walking through a field or something like that, it's a big thing to make sure that they know that they need to be with you at all times and that'll really help a lot. 
Then, as she gets a little bit older, um, she's seven months old right now. So just about right now, probably in about a week or so, I'm gonna implement the e-collar. And really, you can implement the e-collar even sooner, I say four or five months. But um, she really hasn't had a big reason to implement it just because she's been doing so well with her training. So we will probably be implementing that, but she's doing great right now. Um, but like I said, I really like to keep my dogs off leash as much as possible so that then they understand the communications through going through all that. Okay, so another big thing though when it comes to getting a dog is the genetics that play with your dog. Um, some dogs, if they don't have the correct genetics, they'll just be complete and total um, crazy little dogs. So it is important to make sure that you know the parents or you know where they come from. Um, with me, I breed for very smart, calm, and confident dogs that are, can do well in any uh, situation or thing. So, Callie, come here, come here, Callie. So, it's very important to know that the, the parents of the dog that you're getting have those attributes. And the way that you can do that is by asking the person how they deal with things and how they do all those things. But Dakota, which is her mom, she's my personal dog, amazing. You'll, you've seen her in videos probably if you watch um, back in some of my older videos. I take her into stores, all that, very well on the e-collar. And as you can see, it passes on to her puppies. So very important that you get a dog that also has parents with great genes and confidence and um, ability to go through adversity. All right, so before I end this video, I wanted to talk about her hair and her haircut that I just gave her. So as you can see, we went to the beach, so it's really sandy and I don't want the sand getting all in her, her hair and I want her to just be able to go home, go in the house, it's not that big of a problem. So whenever I give my dogs cuts, I like to call it the puppy cut. So because I'm basically just trimming everything that's already been, and it's the same and it kind of looks like them, but like three months ago. So I'll do the long, I'll do the biggest guard that I have all over her body, same length, and then on her paws, I'll just take scissors and cut around the ends to just help trim it up and it doesn't get as dirty on the paws. And then on the face, her head is not very, it's still not very long, so I kind of left a little bit of the long hair on top just because I like that. And then all I do is use scissors around the eyes right here, the chin, and then maybe if they need it on the ears, I'll trim up the ears. But that's all. I don't do any crazy like poodle cut. I still want them to look like a golden doodle teddy bear look. So I just do all the same size guard on her whole body and then I use scissors on the face and it looks amazing. I do it all myself. It's not that hard as long as you just keep up and the dog's not super matted. It's really not that hard to do it yourself. If you want to know how I do it step by step, I can maybe make a video, drop a comment if you want to know about that. But um, other than that, we should be good to go. All right guys, so that's all for today. We got Kelly in the background right there. But. Um, Thanks for watching and like and subscribe. The YouTube video is kind of starting to pick up. I think we got 50,000 views on our um, first video. So I'm gonna keep running this up. We're gonna get this up. We're gonna help try to just educate people with golden doodles and dogs in general. If you have any questions or you want me to make a specific video, just uh, comment that down below and uh, I'll try to do my best to make some videos that y'all are really wanting to see.